She just graduated college with a whole lot of knowledge. Got a 4.0. Oh, she a Zoom cum laude. Got a brand new Audi. She loves to stand out like a tummy with a Audi. I'm telling you about her, cause I'm hoping and I'm wishing. I've been trying to get at her like a Twitter page mentioned. I'm hoping she'll listen every time I think about her. Man. Since I filmed a video, I've just, some of you guys don't know, all I've been doing is editing all my old videos and I have been posted and I don't think I've actually filmed a video in like six months. I apologize for that. Before we get started with this video, I want you to go ahead and smash that like button. Smash it, smash it, smash it, smash it. And make sure you comment because you're going to love this video. Don't leave your thoughts, don't keep your thoughts to yourself. I welcome you to speak up in this video. So I want you to comment in the video. Let me know what you think about the video. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe, okay? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Okay. So, I wanted to do something to my hair and I just wanted something simple, quick, fast. So, what I did, what I came up with is, can you guess, can you guess what I came up with? A high bun ponytail, yes. Though I am a natural, thick, 4C haired girl, I still wanted me a slick high bun ponytail. My ponytail is not as slick, but you know what though? I'm gonna take this. This is good enough. This is cute. This is bum. I love it. If you wonder why I am wearing my hair this side, it's because my last hairstyle, y'all see that? Shh. I got two bob spot. So that's what happened with my last hairstyle. I got a sewing, you know. Moral of the story, be careful who you let touch your head, okay? Don't let anybody just run up people touching your head or you're gonna end up edgeless like me. So while I'm taking the time to treat my edges and call them back from heaven, I decide what is appropriate is a ponytail. I'm not grabbing on my edges. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I just want my edges to be free. So this is one of the best hairstyles I could come up with for now. I also, because I know it's just a ponytail video, I also went ahead and joined it with a makeup tutorial. So in this video, you get two for one, a makeup tutorial, and a how to do a high bun ponytail two for one never been done before i have never done this before but hey you're i feel like blessing y'all so you can thank me later you feel me with that being said i know i've talked all about my hair let's not forget how bomb this makeup is this is my hair after i had taken it out of the car this is my hair after I had conditioned it. I am using a plastic bag as an alternative shower cap to retain moisture in my hair. Now I will tie my hair for two hours. This is my hair after rinsing out the deep conditioner with some cold water. This is my hair after blow drying it out and yes, it is the next day. expression to add some length to the ponytail and I actually just realized that this is my first time giving myself a ponytail hairstyle ever in my life I've always been insecure of my forehead not match the texture of my hair so I decided to go with this curly bundle that I have sitting around so all I'm doing right here is just 
using my thread and my needle to sew I'm just gonna keep wrapping around the braided expression and sewing wrapping and sewing wrapping and sewing until I got it all the way to the bottom to tame down my edges a little because I don't really want gel a lot of products in my hair so I'm just gonna spray some that to be fluid hairspray gel on my palms and then apply it to my hair I'm gonna spray some water and conditional mix that is inside my spray bottle in my hair here I use some Smashbox primer oil Today I'm feeling glamorous, so I'm gonna be using my Alganist Luminizing Drop before applying my foundation. I'm just using a foundation brush by BH Cosmetic, and I'm just gonna spread it evenly all over my face. So it has been like almost a whole year if not a whole year since I've done a makeup tutorial like you know the weird thing about me is that I go through weird phases guys you just gotta like once you get to know me you just accept me for me okay cuz you know sometimes I feel like maybe I am bipolar because I go through my eyes and I go through my lows and Sometimes I feel completely like unmotivated. I'm not motivated, I don't want to do anything. Makeup, it's like F the world, F everything. I might still look normal and appear to be normal, but my motivation for the things that I love, those stuff decreases. I tend to go through that once out the year. I go through my funk. And you know, I've, I think I am not over my funk because as you can see, I am back to doing my makeup. Even I went on several vacations, I oddly like apply any makeup. Like I would like just rush through it or I'll probably just put some like trophy wife highlighter on my face and some body mist and run out the door. And that, that, that has been my makeup for almost a year now if not a whole year so I used to have trophy wife in 480 and somehow I'm now up to 450 that's that's a long story because Brand. I just wanted to stay loyal to Rihanna, you know, that's bad. I don't have any celebrity crush, but Ri. <laughs> now I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer, the classic concealer. It's crazy how this concealer went from like $1, now it's like $3, 4 $5. That's how I feel about the styrofoam mannequin head for the wigs. The wig foam head, y'all. I'm so shitty. That shit, those foam heads used to cost a dollar. I went to Sally's the other day, I was hurt. They now cost $5.25. I usually do my eyebrows first and don't even ask me why I'm not, I, I haven't done them yet. I don't know. But I'll get to it. So, 
wearing this makeup. I'll get to it. I got this uh, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Like a setting powder. While I let my face set, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm going to uh, probably, I'm feeling like a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna work on my eyes now. For my eyebrows, I use Maybelline Brow Tint Pen. I love this brow tint pens because they're easy work. Like this thing works like Sharpie. It's like I'm using a Sharpie to line my brows, but better. Like it just does the job nice and easy. Nice and easy. Now I'm using my Liga Pro Concealer again in beautiful bronze I'm gonna take that and outline my brows I know what I don't get when people just dump a bunch of concealer on their eyebrow like they use a bunch of concealer just to highlight their brows like I don't understand why you need all that concealer I like to use the lightest con Sealers so that I can easily use my finger to blend it out like this. Voila. I'm gonna do the same for this eyes. So now my eyebrows are done. I am now going to be applying some eyeshadow. Before doing that, I'm going to apply some concealer over my lid as an eyeshadow base. This is Muffy in 12P. I got this palette a long time ago. I'm using this yellow shade and I'm just trying to pack that up here. I'm gonna move on to my Muffy brushes 350M. I'm going to take this chocolate brown right here and I'm gonna put this on my outer corner. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this orange over here just to help bring out that brownness. Using my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Now I am using my Muffy Eyeshadow Palette in 350S. I'm just gonna take this shimmer orange right here on the further side. I'm just gonna go back into my 350 matte and take that dark rich chocolate and go above and I use it to blend it out so my eyes is pretty much done I'm now gonna apply some eyeliner and some lashes and I'll be right back okay so now my eyeliners and my lashes are on I'm now going to dust up the rest of the setting powder on my face Using my Bella Pierre Pro Cosmetics. This is the Contour and Eyelight Pro Palette. So I'm gonna be taking this dark brown right here and I'm using that over my contour. Just to take my eyebrows a little, I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Great Gel um, Lash. It's like a eyebrow gel. I just want to gel down my eyebrows because it's looking Man, let's talk about Nipsey Hussle real quick, y'all. I R.I.P. to Nipsey Hussle, y'all. This is so sad. We need to stop the violence, guys. This violence has to stop. We need to stop killing each other. It is black on black crimes. And the crazy thing is when a white person kills a black person, we're also ready to riot, to protest, and all do all this stuff. And I think we need to start keeping the same energy when it's black on black crime. When we kill each other, we need to keep the same energy and come in and you know stand up and do this protest. 
do all this stuff because we need to stop killing each other. This gun violence is no joke. Every black man keeps dying by gun violence. Like people are not even getting sick and dying the natural way anymore. People are getting killed. They're getting taken away earlier than they're destined, than God has destined them. What about these young kids growing up without the father? It's gonna be the same rotation, the same revolving door we've been going through. This is what our forefathers have gone through. Now we're doing the same thing. We gotta stop. We need to stop. We need to stop. And God violence. Hashtag and God violence. I am using my Fenty Beauty trophy wife. I liked her. to hand gun violence. R.I.P. to Nipsey also. I pray that God be with Lauren London and her entire family and the whole entire family to Nipsey also and all of his loved ones and for their kid. I think he has like two kids. I don't even know but I feel so bad. I can't even imagine. I have both my parents and I take them for granted and moments like this remind me that I need to appreciate my parents and I need to appreciate what I have because I just cannot imagine losing them. What am I going to do with myself? So it's so sad for a little kid to grow up without, you know, a father figure. I just, my heart goes out to them. And I just pray that in this moment, God is with them. God is with them. God be their strength. You know, we all like to say, we send out prayers, but what is the prayer? My prayer is that God to be with them, be their strength, be their backbone, be their front, be there for them. Through, the, through this difficult moment, Lord. Whew. It hurts. I feel like I know Gypsy or something. I feel like it's like my friend or something. Like I've met him before, my uncle, somewhere, something. Because it hurts, it just hurts. So I can only imagine how it hurts to a total stranger like me compared to his family. We need to stop killing each other, young black man. We just need to stop. You know, it's like we just lost two black men. Yeah, we lost Nipsey also, and when they do find out the, per the killer, you're gonna go to jail and you lost your life too. So it's like, it's a loose, loose situation, then why do it? Now I'm gonna set my face with Milani Make It Last Scenting um, Spray. Uh, I'm gonna be using MAC. This is in Choco Teas and this is in Cafe Oat Chick. So I'm gonna put this first because this is the darker. Now I'm gonna top this color. I could leave it like this, but I don't want. Yeah, no. I just don't want it super chocolate lips. So I'm gonna top it with this lighter shade. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you share this video. Let your mama see it, let your daddy see it, let your uncle, your sister, your cousin, your nephew, your old family, the old neighborhood. Make sure you share it, let them see it. Don't be selfish. Don't be selfish. With that being said,